hills in the building Sit down, relax, baby, let me take you on a ride Sit down, relax, baby, let me take you on a ride yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to my roller coaster After five days, literally guys, it's been five days from the time we tried to come here and it wasn't working, but finally after five days, we are here. Five days? What happened? Well, let me take y'all back. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Sipo Sami or Sami if you'd like, and if you're a returning subscriber, Hey, thank you so much for coming back. So guys, I am in Beijing and I am super duper excited because it's been four years since I last came to this city. Now, as you guys know, Beijing is the capital city of China and there is a lot to do here. So many tourist places, so much beautiful, good food. And I'm super duper excited to finally be a tourist and do some tourist things, you know the vibes? Anyway guys, first things first, I will be going to Tiananmen Square and the Forbidden City. It is the most famous tourist place here in Beijing after the Great Wall, of course. So much history, a lot to see, and I'm super duper excited to show you guys so I'm actually on my way there I hope you guys will enjoy this video make sure to give it a big fat thick thumbs up if you are new to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button join our beautiful family I make videos about my life as a black girl living in China without further ado guys let's go straight to the Tianmen Square. I'm quite disappointed right now. We are currently at Tiananmen Square and at the moment we can't get inside because after COVID, literally every tourist place in Beijing right now requires an appointment. So unfortunately we can't get in today, but we've made an appointment to be back tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be able to come and explore this place tomorrow. I'm actually very upset because our whole day was planned out and we were going to visit three places that are here. So, yeah, unfortunately, if you're planning to travel to Beijing right now, make sure you check this in advance. Make sure you have your 48-hour COVID test and at least a 24-hour appointment at every tourist place you want to go to. So, yeah. Several days later. Hey, guys. So, after five days, literally, guys, it's been five days from the time we tried to come here and it wasn't working. But finally, after five days, we are here and we've managed to get in. So, today, we're finally going to be exploring the Forbidden City and Tiananmen Square. We're just about to get in. This is the pre-check area. We have the building right behind us over there. So without wasting much time, we're gonna head straight in. We really, really have to do this today, guys. Like I've been wanting to do this and I was so excited that finally, finally, finally today we're gonna do it. So let's go. convenient guys so as you walk into the entrance of the forbidden city there is a tour guide service and they will provide you with these devices that will give you a tour as you walk around the palace it is a gps based device such that as you walk around and you reach a place of significance it will give you all the information that you need to know as well as the history of that particular place it costs only 40 rmb yes guys only 40 rmb and that's such a bargain because there are so many languages to choose from which is really really cool especially for people like me who are foreigners touring this palace Now, 
for those of you who have never been to China or have never heard about the Forbidden City, this is a palace complex right at the center of the imperial city of Beijing, which is surrounded by a lot of rich and opulent imperial gardens and temples. The Forbidden City served as the home of the Chinese emperors of the Qing and Ming dynasties and their households thousands of years ago. It was actually constructed from 1406 to 1420. This is where all the royals of those dynasties lived and it was the ceremonial and political center of the Chinese government for over 500 years. This complex is very huge guys. It is actually one of the largest temples in the world. It has 980 buildings with over 8,886 rooms and it covers an area of 720,000 square meters. That's just how huge and massive this place is. I just encountered a problem. I'm having troubles with the tour guide. It's not working, we can't hear much, so they have another one just inside and I'm gonna file a complaint. Hopefully they can help. of each of the palace halls you will find that there are two lions guarding it a female one and a male one now you will notice that the female one has her paw on top of a baby lion and that symbolizes fertility of the empress whereas the male lion had his paw on top of a globe to signify the amount of power and strength that he had over the whole world Now another unique and obvious thing you will notice about this palace is the beautiful golden roofs. Now these are built with a special kind of material and fun fact, birds cannot land on these roofs because they are built in a specific kind of design that preserves the roof and also maintains its beautifulness and cleanliness. And another thing you will also notice at each corner of the roofs are mounted on their beasts and each of these beasts symbolize different cultural meanings. Each animal, the lions, the monkeys, they all symbolize something cultural and represent the history of the Qing dynasty at that time. Guys, you see how huge this thing is? This thing is so huge and you can actually see it in every part of the palace. I've seen so many of these and initially I hid their treasures or something like that. But actually, all around the palace are these huge pots. Literally, it's my size. I could fit in here. And they were filled with water. Just in case the fire broke out, this was filled with water, able to protect the palace. This is the Palace Museum store. Now, if you want to get yourself a souvenir to take home, to remind yourself of your visit to the Forbidden City, this is your place. You can come here and buy small souvenirs that you can take home. I actually expected us to be able to go inside and see how the emperors lived, probably see the furniture and all the small things, you know, with the inside detail. But unfortunately, it looks like we can't do that. All we can do is just to go around and they will tell you, you know, obviously using the tour guide service, they'll explain to you what each room is or, you know, what happened at that time. house restaurant that we've just found there is a nice sitting area over there and also another one here next to the wall and I've noticed that everyone here seems to be having the same type of dish it looks like some sort of soup or pudding I'm not very sure what it is but I wish I had more time I'd love to try it out it looks interesting it looks very interesting but yeah if you do get hungry and you're here at the Forbidden City this would be a beautiful place 
to come and just sit down and enjoy. So this beautiful palace courthouse garden that we can see is where the empresses used to sit down and they would write poems and songs. And there were colorful flowers that would fall down and they looked like colorful snow. That inspired the emperor to write a certain poem about this. walking around this palace for over two and a half hours and I'm tired it's just so big and there's so much for you to see if you are in China you should definitely make some time to come and visit this beautiful place and learn about all the great history about the Qin and Ming dynasty and you know everything that this place has to offer I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did filming it if you did then do make sure you give this video a big fat thick thumbs up so that I can keep making more videos for you guys and if it was your first time watching me then hey what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button please subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you click the little bell right next so that you can get a notification every time I post I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye